Hello and welcome to this great stadium with an old-time feel nestling in the forest to the southeast of Berlin, the Stadion an der Altenförsterei. I'm Derek Ray and joining me here on the commentary box for complete coverage is Lee Dixon. And the focus is on the Bundesliga. Live action coming up. It's Union Berlin facing Bayer Leverkusen. Thanks, Derek. I'm sure both coaches will want their players to start with a real zip in their play. Really show the opposition what they're in for. That could lead to fireworks. Let's hope so. And this is how the hosts will begin the game today. Looks as though they're going with the belt and braces approach. Yeah, 5-3-2 or 3-5-2. The midfield will be flooded when they've got the ball. Defensively, those fullbacks will be asked to supply support to their three centre-backs. But it does enable you to play two strikers up front. And so the Bayer Leverkusen team looks like this. Lukas Radetzky is the goalkeeper. Alexander Dragovic plays alongside Jonathan Tah in central defence. Charles Arangi starts alongside Kerem Demirbay in the centre of midfield. And as for the attack, well, it has a bold look about it with three forwards listed from the beginning. And the match is underway. Andri. Abonigi. And a fine tackle. Schick. Sinkgrafen. And just slightly offside. Knoche. Friedrich. Andrich. Gentner. He's protecting it effectively. Abonigi. Christian Gentner. And Kruse. And putting his body on the line. Moussa Diaby. Kerem Demirbay. Charles Arangis. Christian Gentner. Abonigi. Might be able to get in behind the defence. The delivery towards the back post. Well, snuffing out the danger, but a corner coming up. And firing it into the area. Well, did his job defensively. Sinkgrafen. An authoritative challenge. Christopher Trimmel. Giving the ball to the opposition that time. Dragovic. Daily Sink Grafen. Kerem Demirbay. Charles Arangis. Can they find a gap in the defence? Friedrich. Oh, nice ball. 
on possibilities inside the box. He succeeds in clearing it. Daily Sink Grafen. Demirbay has it. Diaby. Kerem Demirbay. Schick. Now with Arangis. Karim Belarabi. How about the cross? Arangis. Well, that's how to do it inside your own penalty area. Andri. Kruse. Ingvartsen. Difficult to stop him. Well, no way through. Well, Leverkusen certainly enjoying the lion's share of possession. But really, possession doesn't score your goals. You need to be a little bit more forceful in front of goal. They need to get their shots away. Well, doesn't get away with it. Free kick given. Benagabi. Takes it on. And there it is. The opening goal. 1-0. And they'll feel they deserve it. Well, what a time to score. The forwards are in absolute dreamland. The defenders slugging their way back to the half-time team talk. They're not going to enjoy this. So the match has restarted, 1-0 here. The referee has decided there will be just one minute of added time. And the whistle is sounded for half-time in this game. Well, Karim Belarabi stamped his authority on the first half. Lee, always keen to get your opinion. Well, his manager will be... As anticipated, plenty of talking points so far, and now the second half is underway. Kerem Demirbay. Alario. Really getting stuck in. Andri. Oh, lovely weighted ball. They might be in. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. Well, they seem to be onto something positive, but it faded away. Charles Arangis. Diaby. That's a very impressive piece of defending. Karim Belarabi. Well, that's not textbook defending. And the emphasis is on creativity. It's got to be! And there it is, the goal they wanted for security. They lead by two now. They can breathe that bit more easily. Well, we can take another look at it now. It's great interplay between the two of them to start off the move. And because he's on his own, he collects himself and he finishes it perfectly past the keeper. Well, a second goal for them here. Half an hour remaining then. It is to be a throw-in.
Alario. Giving the ball away. Well, look at the stats. Leverkusen enjoying the bulk of possession here. And all of their team are enjoying this performance. That's why they're winning, and that's why they're one of the best teams. It needs an accurate cross. Well, it looked highly promising, but they got nothing out of it. Bodies forward, and the break looks on. Gentner. Oh, lovely ball. He's just got to continue his run. And no joy as far as the cross was concerned. Making sure nothing untoward happened. Playing with purpose and control. Couldn't hang on to it. Kerem Demirbay. Arangis. And they'll get ready for the throw-in. And they're making a change. Friedrich. Careless in possession. Just the challenge that was required. Moving the ball forward with purpose. And after the cross, a tremendous block. And time for the change now. Options in the centre. What a high-quality stop it was. Well, look at the speed he sets himself, Derek. He gets ready and makes a really good save. And over comes the corner. And it all counts for naught. Well, an honest assessment would be that he hasn't really been on top of his game in a tap league. Yeah, he's had quite a bit of the ball, but he's not done it in the right areas. His teammates have got to get the ball to his feet. He needs the right ball in the middle of the danger zone, where he comes alive normally. He's driven in the corner. Well, the keeper dealt with the danger. Ezequiel Palacios and breaking at pace with Menace and it looked like open road for them but up a dead end well he keeps going chance to cross and a no-nonsense clearance Both managers deciding this is the time to change things around. Both teams going to the bench. Played into the center of the box. And nothing positive. And that is the end of the game. It goes into the history books as a home defeat. Lee, your thoughts? Yeah, they really struggled to get to grips with this game, to be honest. Starts in midfield for me, always seems second to the ball, and then too many mistakes at the back has cost them. Poor performance overall. And I think it's accurate to say, Lee, that this man was the light bringer for his side. Well, that was a really, really good performance from the lad, and a goal to boot. Really delighted with that goal, I'm sure he is.